Okay, so admittedly, it may not look like much, especially when compared to some of the state's grand dams. It's not famous at all. No one even knows it's here. But this humble little structure just off the Route 3 rotary in Situate is historic. This is the oldest dam in America. That's right. There's been a dam here on First Herring Brook for nearly 400 years, built shortly after the Pilgrims arrived to supply water for the historic Stockbridge grist mill across the street. The mill would do around 700 pounds a day, so people would bring it from everywhere. This historic landmark is so unappreciated, it doesn't really even have a name. Sometimes it's referred to as the Old Oaken Bucket Dam after a poem by local writer Samuel Woodworth. Bob Chesia of the local historical commission says there are no plans to put up any kind of historical marker. I think if we put a big sign up, people might be disappointed. <laughs> it's kind of like when you go to Plymouth Rock, it's kind of cool, but it is what it is. Humble as this little dam is, it's probably not going anywhere soon. The pond it creates supplies Situate with supplemental drinking water in the summertime. But across the state, obsolete dams, undersized culverts, and other obstructions to our rivers are receiving greater scrutiny than ever. You see people sort of rethinking, not just how we use rivers, but our sort of approach to nature, less of a sense of controlling nature, but rather trying to work with nature. With severe weather events on the increase, Emily Norton of the Charles River Watershed thinks it's time to do a total rethink of our built environment. People really don't have any idea. When you look at a road, when you look at a parking lot, it's really a flood creation machine. We really do need to be doing things differently. I get that this is going to be hard. The Baker Together, administration it agrees. It's earmarked $300 million from its portion of the Federal American Rescue Plan to remove dams and improve environmental infrastructure. Given the speed at which our climate is changing, the work can't come quite soon enough. If Hurricane Sandy had hit Boston during high tide, we would have looked like Katrina. We've just been lucky. And uh, to quote our Senator Markey, luck is not a climate resilience strategy, but that's what we've been relying on. So that small concrete dam in Situate, needless to say, it was not there back in the days of the Pilgrims. <laughs> but the earthen berm was certainly there back then. But just how unloved is that dam? Well, they built a fish ladder there a few years back. And even the herring didn't come back. Aww. They didn't like it because there were too many obstructions <laughs> downstream. It's a tough dam, I tell you. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. I'm Shana Seymour. Good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.